We have a customer that manufactures a million pounds of kitty litter per day in his two continental roller mixers. And I brought with me a sample today of this kitty litter that is a mixture of bentonite and uh, actually guar powder. Guar is used as a binder to give it a clumpable nature. And guar powder is very expensive. In fact, when this customer came to our facility, they wanted to see if they could reduce the level of guar in the formula because at a million pounds a day, it costs them $60,000 per year and to use just one-tenth of one percent of this guar powder. So in formulation, we started off with 1.2 percent and we're able to actually reduce the amount of guar powder by 0.3 percent, which when you add it up, came out to a savings, a raw material savings of over $180,000 per year, which is substantial. It paid for the capital cost of the equipment. And uh, so I brought with me an example of this cat litter. I'm going to do a clump test. And um, the way that this works is you're supposed to uh, make a little bit of an impression as a cat would into my cat box. And I brought with me today uh, some simulated uh, cat whiz that I wanted to put on to the product and show as we're spraying, as we're applying the, uh, the, uh, the liquid onto the, uh, to the cat box. Now, you're supposed to let this cure for 30 seconds and uh, once it cures, I should be able to pull out that comfortable kitty litter without having it fall apart in my hands. We also have a customer who manufactures kitty litter down in Florida, and they do a blend of vermiculite and perlite, which are very friable materials. And yet the roller mixer can blend these materials as well as spray on a solution without damaging these very friable products and creating fines. So as I was saying earlier, our roller mixer is used in a variety of pet food industries, dog food, cat foods. Uh, this fish food is a good example of, of five or six different ingredients that are uniformly blended as you apply them you know, uh, in your fish tank. Now let's take a look and see how this clump is turning out. There we go. It appears to be all together in, in place. And uh, what they do is they actually do a drop test and they do a rating that shows uh, a one is, is considered a perfect uh, uh, sample of a drop test as it doesn't fall apart. A two is partially falling apart and a three is, uh, is showing that uh, it is totally disintegrated. And as you can see in the photograph, you can see the, the samples of materials that have no guar powder in them and then the ones that do have the 0.9% that is shown distributed uniformly. 